This Velocity Motor Swap project has caused me so many headaches. Look at how messy my workshop is right now. <laughs> it is a mess. It is just stuff everywhere. Controllers everywhere. All right, so I'm having some issues trying to get this motor to spin with any of the controllers that I'm used to using. It's uh, a Boma motor, the MY1020. I got it on electricscooterparts.com. But uh, I mean, it's spin with the 1000 watt China controller, like until you were trying to put load on it and then it really wasn't spinning good. And uh, then I couldn't get it working on the Kelly KBS controller. And then I read on the forums uh, that, you know, if you put it on 12 volts to the hall sensors, then it would maybe work. So I put the whole thing back together, put it on 12 volts from the output to the halls, and it still does absolutely nothing. I program it with the program cable. Uh, I do the auto identify and it moves the motor a little bit and cogs it like it's finding the configuration. And then it doesn't do anything with the throttle at all. And there's a green light on the Kelly. So... I have no clue why the Kelly will not spin this motor at all. But I think there's something really weird with the hall sensors on this motor because they act weird even on this controller. I hooked up the controller to my dirt bike uh, on it real quick because I just had no other controllers. It's a Votol EM100 and I got it all wired up. I got it programmed uh, and it's still spinning really strange. Like I have the whole thing set up on the settings and this is what the motor's doing. I have like no flux weakening, no special things, and it like freaks out at high, at high speed. And the RPM goes crazy sporadic and it's all over the place. So I'm not really sure what's going on with this motor. I mean, it was the only motor I could fit inside this housing. Uh, it's very small diameter. It's like 108 millimeters or whatever it is. But a little disappointed trying to get this thing up and running. And we're having all sorts of issues. At slow speed, it seems to be fine on this controller. So I think I could get it out for a test ride because you can go easy on the throttle and get like the first 10 steps to operate. Yeah, that's uh, still kind of messes up. You can hear it. Yeah, it starts going crazy. And I mean, even if you go into the settings, it's the same thing. Sorry for the noise. I have my giant lab computer over here with this like 120 millimeter fan spinning in our face. But I forgot to shut it off. Yeah, you go into the settings. <clears throat> I got three pole pairs, so this motor only has six magnets, so that's correct. And the haul angle I have set at 90 right now, which doesn't make any sense, but it's, uh, this thing auto identified with five pole pairs and 60 haul angle, and it ran like complete crap. It seems to run better at like 80 to 90 on the haul angle, which doesn't make sense at all. It should be 60, 120. You can also put a negative 60 and negative 120 and it doesn't do anything. And if I try to exchange any of the hall phase wires, it just, the motor completely locks up. So this is the only configuration that actually spins it, but it's still not solving the issue. So I've, uh, I'm looking at maybe sourcing another motor now, which is really hard because of the size constraints. And uh, I'm trying another controller too. I ordered another 72 volt sine wave controller. It's only like 45 amps, but if it works, I, it may be just enough for this to get it up and running. So we'll see what happens there when that comes in. But some issues to work out. Otherwise, uh, this motor went in there fairly easy. So maybe we can find something else. I think the QS1000 will fit in here. It's like two millimeters bigger. But uh, I have to order it on like Alibaba or something. And it's you know going to take a long time to come in. So I haven't got into that yet. We'll see what happens. But I, in a perfect world, I would hope to get this Kelly controller going because it's the KBS 72121X and I've used this on a bunch of other builds and I really like that controller. It's just, I'm not sure what to do. 
Uh, maybe I can go in and change the hall sensors. I do have a hub motor over here in my workshop area that's fried and I could pull the hall sensors out of it. Assuming they work, but they might not since the motor was fried. But I'm not really sure how to get this thing running right now. So I'm just throwing the feeler out there. Maybe other people have used this motor. I actually thought it was like a Kanai motor, but I don't know. I think just like these China companies buy tons of them and throw their label on it. And it's all the same motor. So then there's another person on Endless Sphere that says like every motor they buy is slightly different. So this one might just be bad. I don't know.